we're going to work on uh, the Thermactor plugs, I guess you'd say, on the back of the OEM 4 V8. So the, this is the engine out of the 92 I took out, and you can see on the back I still have the uh, Thermactor hose that bolts to the back of the heads. So most of the time when you're taking your emission stuff off of your car, you're going to take this off. A lot of people recommend flipping it over, bending the tooth, all that kind of stuff. There are actual plugs you can buy, but I found a cheaper solution and I want to show you kind of how you're going to put them in. And there's two different ways for that. So let's start. I'm going to take this off. So by taking these two bolts out, pull this tube off and then I can show you kind of what the back of the head looks like. With this, you're going to have roughly, I want to say, two scenarios. Simply, either the car is going to have the engine still in it, or the engine is going to be out where you have easy access. So in scenario A, let's call it the scenario where the engine is out. It's pretty easy. You can get to the back side. It's no problem. You can use the tap. Now, it's going to be a 5 8 by 11 threads per pitch, or 5 8 dash 11. You can find one of those. I found one of those at a local hardware store. It was 10 bucks. Pretty simple, cheap. You're just going to use brake cleaner, clean it out, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You're going to go all the way in, and then you're going to have a plug to put in there. Scenario two is, this is still going to be in the car. Tap is hard to get in behind there, but I'm going to show you a simple solution. And I'd like to see if it's going to be possible. Since I'm doing it outside the car, I have no way to check it. So this is where you guys come in. If you watch this and you think option two is where you still have it in the car, I want you to try my method. If it's bogus, tell me. I want to know. So let's start with the tap and then uh, we'll get going from there and show you what to do on getting these bolts out or cleaned up and then putting plugs in. Okay, so once you've taken off the uh, Thermactor 2 itself, you can see this is what it's going to be. So this is where the bolt comes in here. It's just going to take a half inch wrench to come off. So of course, if it's still in the car, this is going to be a difficult one to do, but it's possible to do that way. So. This is what you want to plug right here. So you can see, you get up on it. It is quite nasty with carbon in that. So this engine has about 113,000 miles on it, roughly. So this is what you're going to plug. Now these come uh, actually with threaded inserts in there. Let me get a flashlight, I'll show you. Da, 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 da. So if I show you that there, you can kind of see in there that there's going to be a threaded insert inside of that. So the goal is to clean that out. So there's two options here. Okay, so here's the goal. So I'm gonna use a tap. This is a 5.8. I'm gonna go into this hole here. The goal here is just to clean this out. Now this tap will actually clean out the threads pretty well. You know, it's got the recess in it, which will take it. You're just gonna use either a brake cleaner, lubricant, whatever you think you need to do. I'd use brake cleaner. That seems to be the recommended stuff. And you're just gonna clean this out. Get this nice and shiny, get it cleaned out. And then we're going to show you the second piece. If you can't use a tap because it's not out of the car, I got a trick for you. All right, so here's what I found. So this was actually at my local hardware store. They have a great one. You can see it's a nice plug. It actually has an Allen head. It takes a 5 16 Allen. And this is going to thread right in there pretty easy. So you have uh, something like this. This is a buck 35 for me locally. Uh, late model restoration actually has better plugs than this, or they're a little longer, I should say. Mimicking the, the plugs that go in there, those are uh, $9 a pair. So I'm going to do this for a little bit less money, a little more readily available, and I'm going to put this one in. Use a little red Loctite, because I don't want this thing coming out, and I don't plan to use that recess again, but we'll get this one done, and then I'm going to show you the trick if you have the vehicle st or the engine still in the car. Okay, so now with that done, and that installed, here's where the stuff gets tricky. So you're going to say, sure, it's easy, because I've got it uh, out of the car. It's right in the back. I could have it with a baseball bat and it'd fit back there. What about the guys that actually have the engine in the car? So here's the trick. I'm going to replicate a tap using a 5 8 bolt. Now this was, I think, $0.85, cents, something like that. So definitely cheaper than a $10 tap just as effective. I'm going to show you how to make this. So really, a tap, yes, it needs to be able to cut threads. And on this one, I don't need that. What I need is be able to get material out, and it's just dust. So on the, on the bolt here, all I'm going to use is I'm going to use a cutter, just a cut, in, cut off wheel, basically. And I'm going to recreate the recesses 
that will actually help do that. So this bolt itself is going to thread in the back of the head. It's going to have recesses to collect the dust. And I'm just going to use it like a tap. Are you ready? Let's make it happen. All right, guys. So here you can kind of see what I've done. So this is the same bolt. All I've done is just basically cut in material release into it. Now this will thread right in the back of the head and then in the grooves, this is where you're going to pick up all your carbon. So it's going to take a little longer than using a die or a tap, sorry. But it's going to work. So you can see this is much shorter. This is only an inch long. And the channel itself is actually a little longer than the plug. So I'm going to use this. We're going to thread it in the back of the head. And we're going to clean that other hole out and make it nice and easy. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. You can see the bolts nicely in and out. Now, it does, it's going to take, obviously, longer than uh, using a tap, but I think this will work. So let me show you a couple key differences between the bolt and the tap and give you my recommendations before we sign off. All right, so here's the bolt and the tap side by side. So you can see kind of how big this recess is and where there's no threads. I would say, based on this one here, Take this bolt and actually try and get as best or as close as you can to this. The more recess you can have in there, the more gunk it's going to pick up and allow you to uh, cut, I guess, cut or clean the threads a lot easier. Like right? literally look in there, you can kind of see there. So make this uh, as much close to that as you can, and then you can also taper, taper these threads if you want to a little bit more. Not required. But it's definitely going to make it easier as this threads in. This obviously goes in quicker and easier than this, especially when they're gunked up. But this will work. Okay, so here's my challenge to you guys. If you're going to do this and you have it out of the car, try both. If you just have a tap, do it. It's easy, simple. Do what you can. If it's in the car, I want somebody to try this with the bolt. Now, of course, like I said, make the recesses or the cuts in there bigger make it a lot easier on yourself but this is work I wanted some way to prove it to me and prove it to everybody else that this will work and you will be the hero for everybody now I got some other projects to do in that so I'll throw a picture of this up on uh, my Instagram for you guys which you'll see obviously before this video but you can follow me there follow all my work over on the 80 coop because I'm starting that this week and uh, I'll have a lot of that stuff to share coming in the next few months as always I'm trying to be helpful to you guys. If you got anything you want to see done, let me know. We will see you next time.